Well, Europe comes to Glasgow. An historic night for the Brayhead clan. Vekwa Lakers, the Swedish champions, are in town to take part in clan's first ever European competitive match on home ice. The game gets underway. Vekwa take it behind their own goal just to start things off. Terrific team they have. Timo Laxo playing it on. Liam Reddick's getting in among the action. I think so, an early pass out. Clan gather it well. Straight down the ice, Laxo plays it backhanded. It's all the way back to Chris Holt in the clan goal. Good pass down the outside. Vekwa very much pole position for a place in the knockout stages if they get the victory here tonight in Glasgow. Richard Ginge. One in the corner by Matt Keith. Such a terrific player. Goats. Moves it forward. And into the corner. And Brendan Brooks gets there. The call for offside. Well, good energetic start from both teams in the early part of this game. Man looking to shed the nightmare that was their trip to Vekwa a couple of weeks ago, just over two weeks ago. That 10-2 loss at the hands of Vekwa Lakers. They'll be looking to get some home pride back with that one. Man win the face-off, comes round the outside. Lakers pick it up in the corner. Touched on. Holt. Short pass. McLaren look to bust down the left-hand side. Meyer. Stays in the left wing. Throws in a diagonal one. Back out to Meyer. Vekwa. Win it back. Vekwa playing in white tonight. There they go again. In the shot. And Holt has to gather. In front of his crease, as the whistle blows. Early pressure, good crowd in here tonight in Brayhead Arena. We reckon around about three and a half thousand. It's probably a good thousand more than there were in the Vida Arena a couple of weeks ago. Very impressive arena for the fans that did make the trip out to Sweden. We've got a standing section behind their goal, which really creates a lot of noise and atmosphere. Maybe something the elite league teams can look into. Of course, the arena situation perhaps very different than it is here in the UK. Change in personnel in the face-off. Scott Pitt is moved away. And it's Chris Bruton. Takes it back, Pitt. Into neutral ice. Vekwa have to move it back the way. Pass across their defensive zone. Swedes lay it off. It's Laxo. Good movement from the Swedes. Ends up behind the Vekwa net. Couple of minutes played so far in this game. Fritsch down the left. Picked up by the netminder Stefan Steen. Swede. Now, what can Vekwa do with this? Hennessy into the centre, one back by the Plan D. Excellent job. Vekwa just keep it inside the blue line. Chris Holt under a little bit of pressure. And the whistle goes again. This play comes all the way back. Well, interesting trip it was to Sweden and Germany. Plan did it in the one up. You mentioned the 10 2 loss of Vekwa. Much better performance in the second game in Germany and the clan took on Ingolstadt. We come here next week in what will be the last game. Tall order for the clan coming into this kind of level. I think they've acquitted themselves quite well. The Vekwa game yeah, doesn't look good on the scoreline, but certainly a big experience for the players. It's Froberg, holds things up on the right hand side. Clan win it back again. Excellent pass, a diagonal shot, good one. 
Meyer set it up. All the way round this near side, Mark Keith pings it into the centre. Oh, big hit on the backboard there. Scott Arson involved in that one. Meyer. And Vekwa just do enough to get it away. Marcus Coates plays it across the zone. Interception there. And it's Vekwa on the break. Thomas Kiskinen. And again, the plan. Do very well in that situation. Well, early stages, the clan look as though they're better prepared for the, well, let's be honest about it, the higher quality of the Swedish team. The SHL champions, of course. Pitt. Looks to play it into the far corner. Tech will win it back. Held up now. Interesting effort, Eddie Larson it was in the centre. Bit of a scramble around the fan net, but they momentarily get it away from danger. Good contingent of Swedish fans in the building tonight as well. Now Pitt, what can he do with this? It's inside. Oh, unlucky Bruton, tries it. Let's come back to Jamie Fritsch. And back again. Can't do something with this here. What would a goal do for this game? It would be interesting. And went ahead in Germany. One time effort from Laxo at the fin. And that's a good stop from Chris Holt. Really good stop from the clan goalie. A KHL All Star player. It's all excellent quality the clan have brought in this year. He and Gary Russell, the two netminders, both new to the club, although Russell has been around the club, having played with Solway Sharks previously. What a level to step up to. They've called upon Holt. That's another terrific stop. And that was Gustav Riedal that time. Low one again. Holt on top of it. Another face off on this near side. Clan nil, Vecqua nil. Interesting start from both teams. Clan have looked a little bit dangerous at times without really troubling the goalie. That effort from Varakas. Vecqua's first line back out on the ice right now. And the play called back again. Well, Vecqua, six points from their two games so far, as well as that 10-2 victory over the clan in the opening game. They also defeated Ingolstadt 4-2. Last Thursday, Robert Rosen, Thomas Kiskinen, Callie Rosen and Liam Reddicks all on target for Sam Hallam's team. Sam Hallam, their coach, this is his third full season with the club. Stepped up from being assistant coach couple of seasons back, he replaced Jana Carlson in October 2012. And win the face-off, Fritsch smudges it down to Brooks in the corner. Brooks around the outside. Brooks has it back again. Glenn happy to play it around. That's an elbowing call on Varakas, which is why Glenn have the power play right now. to make extra use and the referee takes a tumble there guaranteed to make the crowd have a bit of a laugh that one he got straight back up there hoping that nobody saw him too late Bequa defend it well bring it out of their own zone and we'll take their time with this they have the extra man right now Purple Army, letting their voices be heard. Ryan Finnerty's Purple Army. Finnerty heading into his third season as the clan coach. Not his first European campaign. 
who was player coach with Sheffield in his first season as their coach. However, didn't yield any victories on that occasion as Pitt wins a face-off. Goats. Good work. Pitt again in the corner. That's a hit against Pitt on the boards. Right in front of the referee. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. Pitt has it back. Goats at the blue line. Nudges it forward. Comes again into the centre. And that's missed. Comes all the way back. And will again turn it round. Wooten. In this near corner, got a little bit of help here. Quite a thing to have a power play, but when you're up against a team of this quality, you really have to make the choices count. Fire in, and Scott Pitt! Scott Pitt tucks away the rebound, and Clan have the opening goal. Well played from the Glasgow Clan. Wonderful finish, Scott Pitt with the rebound. The puck played in, Rick Jackman got the touch on it. And Pitt got enough with the rebound. And that's why Clant have taken a lead against Vekwa Lakers. That could be a big lead. Rick Jackman, great experience, the number 55. He's a man that knows his way around the hockey rink, that's for sure. And he's helped the Clant to an opening goal, credited to Scott Pitt. 1-0 for the clan. Big, big moment with the power play. Now Fritch. Throws it down into the centre, picked up by Steen. You can hear what the crowd think of that one, a huge goal. Scott Pitt now Vekwa looked to respond to that straight away can't quite hold the puck we still have it inside the clan zone good early effort from Ilka Heikinen Finnish D-man is patrolling that blue line Here they go again, up the right-hand side, it's Tomas Kiskinen, forced into the corner. Again, has to move it back to the blue line. Alexander Anderson doesn't quite get the, the hold on it he was hoping for. One nil for the Brayhead clan. Move it around really well. We had the first European experience. Not the first time a Scottish team has played in Europe. Air Scottish Eagles had that distinction a few years back in the old Super League. That's a great pass. Falls to Anderson. He was looking for a bit of space, ends up playing it around the outside. Won it again. It's moved out of the clan zone. Larson. Changing of the guard again for Vekwa. Laxo, first line out on the ice at the moment for the Swedes. Laxo thrashes it in. Bit of a scramble. Farakis hoping to get something on it. Pinged away. Here they go again. Loose pass. Picked up by the clan. The whistle blows though. And it looks as though it's a penalty on the clan. It is. Nathan McKeever takes a seat for Brayhead. Well, clan. We'll have to go short-handed. 
as McKeever takes a seat for tripping. So a big test now for the clan. Face off, the puck bounces away, but clan win it back. Immediately get it out of any danger. Coming up on 10 minutes gone of this first period. Greyhead clan leading by a goal to nil against the Vekwa Lakers of Sweden. Such a big night for the club. Finishing second in the league last year has caused the Sheffield Steelers in this competition as well. As Vekwa move it around. Holt does very well. Joachim Hilding playing it around. Josh Hennessy is in front of the net as well. And Holt doing really well. Can't go over the noise here in Brayhead Arena tonight. It's quite something. It just shows you how much of a special night it is. It's Heikinen. Moves it to the left. Back to Heikinen in the middle. Plays it to the outside. Finds Kiskinen. Kiskinen into the centre. That's a good effort. And Holt making the stop. Win it back again. It's still in, in a roundy clan zone at the moment. One back by the home team. Who just immediately turn and get rid of it. hear what the fans think of that one Lakers aren't out of it yet Looking to make their way into the knockout stages they just missed out last year just like so another low one Holt does well to watch it move on bounces away from Laxo and see the opportunity McKeever back on ice great penalty killing from the home team that's a low one. And it's beaten Chris Holt. Eric Josephson has beaten Chris Holt with the shot. And Vrekwa are immediately back on the board. Good low shot. And Holt, before he knew it, zipped by him. I think Robin Soderquist got an assist on that one. But it's Eric Josephson who's taking the fist pumps. As... The SHL champions equalise here in Glasgow. Three heads lead. It's only lasted something like four or five minutes. And you would immediately hope not going to rack up something like the score they got in Sweden just over two weeks ago. As the scorers call the referee over, so there's a slight delay right now. Head. really enjoying the European adventure quite something to be involved in a competition like this only its second season last year it was won by a fellow Swedish team in Lulea who won the first ever edition of this competition plenty of growth in it three team group a little bit unusual two teams will qualify as Vekwa quickly move things on again Forced in, turned away. And Clan now start making inroads on Vekwa. Around the outside. One in again. Oh, Clan try the low one. That was Rick Jackman, and not to be on that occasion. And offside called Scott Pitt. Not quite getting there quickly enough. As I 
said Vic were missed out on the knockout stages last year in this competition. They finished second in Group G, edged out by Sparta Prague on the head-to-head -head record. Although Lakers actually won more games than Sparta. Four wins to Sparta's three, but yet Vic were with a team to miss out on the knockout stages, the playoff rounds as they call them. Conversation with the scorers down below us. It's allowed both teams to regroup and we'll get restarted. Well, Ingolstadt will complete this Champions Hockey League campaign next week when they come to Glasgow. The former team of Matt Keith and Brendan Brooks who incidentally has just signed from there of course as Vekwa win the fix off Heikinen down the right hand side throws it into the centre Holt gets something on it turning short moved away keep it in play Heikinen again and back in the Swedes still looking to impose themselves on the Scottish opponents and Holt gets the grab player Chris Holt Looked quite impressive so far certainly a big personality in the team and face off to our right in the corner where the Bequa fans are situated oh it's come loose but Holt grabs it again the early shot and Holt had to watch that very carefully Another face off to our right. Dug out. Vekwa in the corner. Robert Rosen goes down. Bit of a tussle at the boards there. Kiskinen helps out. Flying under a fair bit of pressure right now. They'll do well to. At least give themselves some breathing space here. Let's come loose, and the net is off the mooring. Fans not happy with that one. Expect a little bit of foul play from the fans there, going by the reaction. Kevin McCoskey getting the fans going. Very good at that is Kevin. Going to get back underway, the face-off in the far corner, just underneath the scoreboard. Vekwa do just enough to get hold of it. Whistle blows, offside call. There's another delay. Face off in front of the clan bench, it's one. 
by the home team. Goes in. In the net. Moved on again by the clan defence. It's picked up on the far side. Right, Riedel. The tussle with Zach Sullivan in that corner. He's going to take it away. It's the home team. And the Lakers just hold on to it in their own zone. Start making inroads up the right hand side. Heikinen. Around the outside. To Heikinen. Throws it in early. Sipped a bit too close for Clans like in there, but they win it back. Because they see an opportunity here, it's a low one. Not quite. One back. Straight away. The players all over the Clan counterparts. There's Fritch. Has a bit of time and space on the far side to get a hold of it, look up, see what his options are. Well, it's been a very interesting first period. 1-1 between the two teams so far. Of course, plenty of action to come in this game, CHL game. I don't think we're going to see the sort of one-sided result we saw last time and Holt, that's a great save that looks a little bit dangerous though fans far from happy with that one and it looks like Richard Jens will take a seat Holt gets up though skates away, shake of the head Takes the helmet off. Himself a little few seconds for a breath. Rick Jackman goes over just to make sure he's all right. Meanwhile, Richard Jens will take a seat. It was late, it was clumsy. And that's a charging call for him. But Holt returns to his net. Play can resume. Thankfully, not too serious. Holt's made of tough stuff. The face off comes down the other end into the Vecla zone. Scott Pitt in there in the face off circle. It's won by the clan. And it comes out to Goats on this near side. Mario Marcus Goats. Oh, the touch just skims away. Lakers just do enough get out of danger that allows the line change give the he's on the ice a breather bring on another line here come the clan again Gertz down this left side Gertz just feeds it back the way he was looking for Alex Levitt who was behind him now Pitt Jammed up against the boards on the left-hand side here. 1-1 between Brayhead and Vecqua Lakers. And on the power play right now. And stopped by Stefan Steen. Stefan Steen, terrific goalie for Vecqua. 22 years old, number 26, very capable, and in the second season with Vecqua, all the way down into the back end.
Beck will have it. In the turn. Gets away from Fritch. Oh, it's a short-handed goal. Josh Hennessy. With a bit of help from the Vequa captain, Liam Reddox. And Josh Hennessy tucks it away under Chris Holt. The visitors take the lead, short-handed. You have to say that was a good bit of play, despite them being a man down. But Liam Reddix did so well, motoring away from Jamie Fritch. And Josh Hennessy there to tap it in. Equal Lakers go 2-1 up. Just under two and a half minutes to go of the first period. Plans lead has now become a deficit against the Swedish champions. Back underway again. You know, I think you can take a lot from the clan performance so far. They've had to dig in deep defence against a high-quality team, let's be honest. Can they do it again? Can they get another goal and really get this crowd on their feet? We'll have to wait and see. We've only got a couple of minutes in this first period to try and level things up. As Goats flashes it across down the far side. On the blue line, once again, it's a bit high. The referees blow the whistle. Well, this group all meeting just got a little bit interesting. Fequa, a result here tonight will put them through to the next round of the Champions Hockey League. And both teams still have Ingolstadt to play. We'll play them later in the week before Ingolstad come to Glasgow next Saturday. Lakers have the face off. Good quick work as they burst forward. It's Richard Ginge back on the ice, tries to play in Kiskinen. Jammed up on the far side. Rosen. Now Heikinen. Throws it in low. Holt has to cover that near post. Does an admirable job in doing so. But just nicks it away. Is this a chance? Oh, not quite. As the goal comes off the mooring, Scott Pitt setting up Chris Bruton there. Bruton tried to squeeze it in at the near post. Actually collided with the post. And the chance was gone. Chris Britton makes his way back to the clan bench. Infinity just looks across. Richard Hartman on the bench with the clan coach. Hartman, of course, the former Edinburgh coach. Not long arrived at the club as assistant. And Matt Haywood on there as well. Injury has kept him out of this competition so far. Matt Haywood. The one man that's been at the club since day one. Now Reddix warming up again. And the play is called back. Well, 48 teams have started in this competition. There'll be 32 left once the group stages are finished. A bit of an unusual format, three teams in each group. As it's thrown in by Heikinen, and gratefully stopped and gloved by Chris Holt. Face-off personnel. Japan win it back. Patrick Lund is the man with the Cramel top scorer jersey on for Vekwa. Fans equivalent is Alex Levitt. As the puck 
It's stuck on this near side, picked up by Matt Keith, clan captain. Good movement, Reddix. It's in the neutral zone, clan win it back. It's lost again. Lund, no shot, picked up again, and it's hiking and makes his way in from the right hand side, that doesn't go anywhere and that's it for the first period, plenty for Plan to be happy about in terms of the performance, but they do trail the Swedes by two goals to one. get ready for the second period as Brayhead clan trail by two goals to one in this Champions Hockey League encounter second place team in the UK against the first place team in Sweden although theoretically they did finish third overall in the regular season standings but they did come out on top in the playoffs and in continental Europe and in North America that is what counts. Let's try and win it back with Equart. Quick to turn it around, but Klein, that's a great pass through. One on one. Chance gone for Thomas Nesbitt, though. Equart clearly deal with that. Rosen. Touched on. Vekwa. Looking good in the early stages. Holt has to keep that near side covered. And it was Richard Ginger trying to squeeze it in at the near post. Well, the fans in full voice here in Glasgow. What an exciting season awaits. Plan look to go one better this season. After just missing out last year, a point they finished behind Sheffield Steelers in the standings, their highest league placing. So much disappointment, they couldn't get it over the line. It's turned around. Oh, Matt Keith, that was an interesting one. Steen had to watch that all the way. Tussle in the far end. Vekwa bringing it out of danger. 39, Cali Rosen has it now. Well, a tussle. And in the end, pinned back in by McKeever. Comes all the way back into Plan A, Zach Sullivan. Turns and moves it. Play stops again. A couple of minutes into this second period.
face off just in front of us as the home side win that one looked a bit cynical on the far side that shove got nothing given Britain twists and turns right in Getting a little bit physical out there. Fans certainly enjoying it. Anderson starts things off for the Lakers. The Mexican wave on the go around Brayhead Arena. Usually Mexican waves are kept for when the game isn't that interesting. I wouldn't have said that about this game. And tried to nick it on there. For Lee Ez does. Doesn't come off though. And it stops again. But I'm happy about something. The official stepping in just in case it does get a little bit heated. Nothing much in it though. I wouldn't even say handbags. I wouldn't even say plastic bags. 2 1 for the Lakers. Vecro Lakers. Terrific side. You have to say, really impressed when they come up against the, the clan a couple of weeks ago. I dare say it wasn't one Ryan Finnerty enjoyed watching back again. And he got the game tape, had a chance to look back on it as Esdas just tries to nick it away from Liam Reddix. Run back by Laxo. And it's on this near side. Laxo is it around the outside. Back end. Baracas. Laxo throws it in at the blue line. Holt gets a touch on it, crucial. Well, Clan might be trailing, but the fans can't drown out their voices, that's for sure. Ben Davis, good bit of industry from the Welshman. Back in again, it's Matt Keith that does so, Clan captain. change things around backhanded all the way around the outside Matt Ginge just plays it back in again Mr Rosen at the blue line good effort from Heikinen and Klein looking to break but again it just falls on the stick of the Fekwa player Lands in nicely from Chris Holt. Decent effort comes in. And Holt's low. Get something on it. And here's a third line out for Vecqua up against Clan's top line. Joachim Hilding. Face off circle for Vecqua. Lund takes it for a stroll along the blue line. Mikael Johansson forced to go round the outside. Backhanded pass. Cut back in. Bodies just congregating around the crease there. We'll look for a third goal. A bit of roughing going on here. Patrick Lund involved with Rick Jackman. And the referees very quick to deal with that one. Well, Rick Jackman goes to the clan penalty box. 
Two minutes for roughing, one assumes. I think that was the, the signal. Jamie Fritz joining him. So plan down two men. I uh, just wonder if there's more to come. The referee's having a conversation. There's a chat with Matt Keith to explain to him. Yeah, Patrick Lund will enter the penalty box as well. Four on three. Beckworth still have the man advantage. Just over five minutes into the second period. Beckwith captain Liam Reddix coming over as well to be informed of what the officials have decided. So it's a power play opportunity now for Beckwith Lakers. 2-1 ahead. Got a short-handed goal. Their goals coming from Eric Josephson and Josh Hennessy. Plan getting their goal from Scott Pitt a little bit earlier. That's where we're at right now. Equa Lakers 2-1 ahead against Brayhead Clan. It's Ginch. For Rosen. Move it around again. Back to Rosen. On the left hand side behind the red line, drop back out. Ginch. Can quickly move on it. And Davis it was, backhanded, tries to send it up the other end of the arena. Quite quickly onto it. Go ahead, have a bit of work to do here. Again, this terrific Swedish team. As does just throws it into the far corner. It's a good drop pass. Vekwart, what can they do with this? Thrown in. And goes wide. Ginch tries to just find a little gap in the back post. Doesn't quite happen for him. Rosen. To Rosen on the near side. Shot from the blue line goes wide. Not a lot of power in it, I don't think. Oh, there we go. And Richard Ginch has made the pressure count. The low one past Chris Holt. And Ginch has added a third one for the Swedish champions. Great movement in and around the clan zone. Robert Rosen found Thomas Kiskinen. And there was Richard Ginge, the number 10, to finish it off. The Swedish side move into a 3-1 lead. Well, it wasn't quite like it was in Sweden a couple of weeks ago. If you remember, Clan were 5-1 down after the first period. Well, only 3-1 down here. But they've got that home crowd behind them. You never know, another goal for the Clan might make things a little bit more interesting. Fair play to Richard Ginn, saw the opportunity, and that's why Vekwa move into a 3-1 lead, 26-25 played in this CHL group all tie. And a power play one at that, so that's an even strength, a shorthanded and a power play goal they've scored from Vekwa Lakers. So let's see how Clan respond to this one. Tough ask against a team like this. But they've done plenty of good things here tonight. It's Brendan Brooks. Runs into Vile Varakas, the Finnish D-man. And they'll still have to have their wits about them. But they have got plenty of experience in that team. Do not let that happen. Lakers again, oh, moves away. Just when they thought they were getting some momentum here. Beckwa. Decent one from Josephson. Zips wide. 
turn. If we keep it down the right hand side. Is there someone in the middle though? No. Win it back, it's Alex Levitt to the corner. And the fans enjoyed that one. Left away, holding, runs into a little bit of trouble there. Number 15. Albin Storm involved also. And that's going to mean a seat for Hilding, I think. Could be wrong on that. The officials come in to defuse anything. No, it is Hilding who goes into the penalty box. A holding call for him. 28-21. So Vekwa into four men. A couple of minutes anyway, unless Clan can get one in the net. So Matt Keith in the face off circle with Linus Froberg. Bit of a scramble there, comes loose. Vecqua pick it up. Come through the neutral zone. Straight away tries one. Holt manages to grab it and gets rid of it very quickly. Fritsch has to chase after it though. Reddix. Is it back the way? And a tussle on the boards there. Froberg was involved. Well, now an opportunity. That's a good low effort. Skinge again, very much a danger man for Vekwa. Not Ginge, my apologies, Kiskin and it was, right in front of Chris Holt. Ginge was involved, and Holt making a terrific save. He's got the fans very happy with that one. Ginge. To take it back the way before he turns. Oh, get something on it. Pit just miscues it. Took an extra touch he didn't want to take. Scott Pitt, the Canadian. Love it. Good diagonal pass. Hey, that was close. Clan not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. Moving it around really well. Bruton was involved on the left hand side. Levitt thought he'd got a touch on it there. He picked it back up again. Clan enjoying a little spell of pressure here. Arson. Pitt has to turn. Back to Arson at the blue line. Levitt on the left side. Levitt looks at his options. Sends it back. Marcus Gertz, his effort doesn't quite make it. Thrown back in. Levitt has to work hard. Again, a bit of a tussle there. Getting a bit interesting. And it was Eddie Larson up against Thomas Nesbitt, the tussle there. And the referees had to blow the whistle and step in. That may have just diffused the spell of pressure that Clan were enjoying there. And moving it around really well in the equal zone. A little tussle at the end, killed it off.
well, a little break has come to an end. Now's the team's a chance to regroup a little bit. And of course, Clan are enjoying the pressure just before the TV break there. And Lund picks it up, throws it forward. On the right hand side for Hilding. Comes in by Mikael Johansson. Clan win it back. Nesbitt on the near side. Lack, so has to turn and look for it. It's holding. Let's get it away. 3 1 Vekwa. Play is called all the way back. Well, interesting about the two captains, Matt Keith and Liam Reddix, both guys, while Canadian, of Scottish parentage. I spoke to Liam earlier this week in anticipation of this game. And I know he was looking forward to, to coming to Glasgow here and visiting the place. Certainly love to see him in the Elite League one day. Lund. A bit too high. Straight away play called back again. Yeah, Reddick's been at the club a little while now. So he was looking forward to, to coming to Glasgow. Josh Hennessy in the face-off circle with Matt Keith. Beck will win it back. One-time effort. Zips wide. Fulberg. He's on the outside, it's back. And just take it, just do enough. One back again by Callie Rosen. Ali Rosen tries to throw it in at the blue line, doesn't come off. Here they come again. Decent effort. Can we set it up here? Moves out to the left hand side, it was number 67, Froberg that had it. Bit of a lull in the game right now. Equa leading by three goals to one. In the CHL tie. Japan's first ever home game in European competition. Matched out there. Hinge was in a dangerous position. Just missed out. Fed back in again by Kiskinen. Equa look for the opening. Pressure on the clan right now. Oh, that was close. Chris Holt had to watch that leap up over his shoulder. Vekwa seem to be in no rush right now as they move the puck around the clan zone at the moment. Come out to the left hand side. Up by Heikinen. And Holt just puts the glove over it. Well, that's going to be a penalty. Yeah, I did see a referee's arm go up there. Scott Pitt is taking a seat in the penalty box. I think that's hooking. 
get confirmation of that maybe in a second. And we're just under six to go in the second period. It looks as though Scott Pitt will take a seat for hooking. Yep, confirmed it is a hooking call against Scott Pitt. So plan again. Have to keep the rear guard tight. Try not to let anything in here. 3-1 against the Swedish champions looks fairly respectable right now. And you can see that it was a team who can sign clan to their worst ever defeat two weeks ago. Infinity philosophical about the defeat after that game at the Vida Arena. Can do well just to nick it out of danger at the moment. Steen keeps it alive. Thomas Nesbitt is quickly in there. I think he detected the little bit of hesitancy. However, they do regroup. And it's Kiskinen. Makes inroads into the clan zone. Comes back to Heikinen. A little tap in from Robert Rosen. Look at the blue line, Heikinen. So a chance in the slot. I think it was Ginge. Reddicks. That's away. Gomez does. Lead back in. Rosen. Again, a little bit of a lull in the atmosphere. And then Brayhead Arena as Lakers just take the time. How about the penalty is killed? Scott Pitt returns to the action. Chris Holt, that's an excellent stop. So another little break coming up. Players get a little bit of a breather. And we're under four to go here in the second period. Again, Clan done very well in the face of some very tough opponents in the Vecqua Lakers. Infinity has a chat with his team. I mentioned earlier he coached the Steelers in the Continental Cup in his first season as the coach. He was a player coach but lost all three games. Lost on a shootout to Asiago, the Italian team. And Dunaj Varossi of Hungary lost by six goals to three. And Herning Blue Fox, the Danish side, shut out in a 3 0 defeat. So, as things stand, Ryan Finnerty's winless run in European competition will continue. Having lost the first two games in this campaign to Vecqua and to Ingolstadt. I'm sure, he'd love to turn that around tonight. 3 1, not a lot in it. It's been a very even game in so many respects. Vecqua have the quality. And we're getting back underway with Eric Josephson in the face-off circle, along with Scott Pitt. Josephson gets enough on it. Vecqua pick it up. Into the corner. Levitt. Josephson. Backhanded, just nudges it forward. It's enough on it. Soda Christ. Looks a tumble. As the play's transferred over to this side. Levitt. Can he do something with this here? Finds himself just turning. Sets up Jackman. In the far corner now, it's Vecqua Lakers 
It's had a fourth before the end of the second period. We'll certainly love to return to the locker room. Three goals to the good over their opponents. Robert Rosen trying to set something up. That's a low one from Rosen. Terrific stop by Chris Holt. Lund again, nips wide. Chances are opening up, certainly. A little bit of a grapple just next to Chris Holt's goal there. Number 15, Albin Storm. Great name. Getting involved at Clans. Left side post. Well, not long to go of the second period. Plenty for Ryan Finnerty to dwell on. And burst forward now. Marcus Gertz, it was the effort from the left hand side. And Brendan Brooks doesn't quite come off for him. Coming down the other end, it's Liam Reddick, the captain of the Vequa Lakers. In the far end. Move it around Holt, has to just stay on his guard. Ben Davis, that's enough on it. Ali Rosen fires it round the outside, round the rim. Kiskinen. One in, Cali Rosen. Holt had to watch his near post carefully. Last thing Clan want to do is lose another goal here. It's Ginge, again a danger. Just in front of goal, just to that right side of Chris Holt. Ginge isn't happy about something, he left straight up there. To have a word with Ben Davis. Nesbitt in there as well. And then, never happened there. Ginge was straight up. I'm going to chat with Ben Davis, whatever that was about. Well, nearly at the end of the second period. And again, the crowd very much appreciative of what they've seen from their team here tonight. And there's no doubt. It was always going to be a tough ask for the clan against a team of this quality. Moving into a competition like the Champions Hockey League. So many great hockey nations with so many great teams involved. When you consider the Prequa are the Swedish champions. And the current holders of the CHL are a Swedish team as well. That tells you all you need to know about the sort of test that clan are up against. Clan and Steelers both involved this year. Steelers yet to win in either of these or their, their games also. Well, number 60 against 61 in the face-off circle. Scott Pitt against Eric Josephson. And it's the Swedes who come out on top of that face-off duel. Here they come again. Nicked away. Because again, try one. It stops again, goes a little bit too high. Well, the proclaimers. You just know you're at a Scottish sporting event when you hear the proclaimers in 500 miles. I don't think many fans walked 500 miles, but they certainly made the over 1,200 mile distance to Vequa just over two weeks ago.
Uh, Keith ends up on the, the floor there. Coming off worse. Referee's in there, just making sure. Nothing untoward going on. Uh, Keith got up straight away. Nothing too dodgy by the looks of it. But the buzzer will sound to end the second period anytime soon. That'll be 40 minutes in the draw for this game so far. Quick one. Played in by Varakas. Now Keith comes in. Just tries to sweep it away. And there's the buzzer. Two periods down. Clan. Trail by three goals to one. Another goal added by Richard Ginch on the power play, which increases Vecco's lead to two. As both teams head for the locker room to end the second period. It's Brayhead Clan one, Vecco Lakers three. Well, both teams in place, the third period about to begin. Can Clan pull off what would be an unlikely result against the Swedish champions? Only 3-1 down, next goal could go a long way to deciding how this match ends up. As Laxo combines with Varakas, 3-1 for the Vekwa Lakers in this Champions Hockey League encounter against the Brayhead Clan. As Reddix makes inroads down the right-hand side, Good quick pace from the visitors to start things off. My goodness, what would a second goal for the clan do? Not only for the team itself, but the crowd that have come here tonight. Interestingly, I mean, it looks full, I would say roughly 3,500. I think it was just over 2,000 at the Vida Arena a couple of weeks ago, just off the top of my head. I don't have that information to hand. I certainly remember seeing a stat that was something like that. Still noisy enough that night in Sweden. Different proposition coming to the UK. This play is pulled back. And on the face off to our right. And it sees Joachim Hilding. Take it for the Aqua Lakers. Scott Pitt in there tries to nick it away. Rosen. Now Rosen takes it into the centre. It's a decent pass. Doesn't come of anything. Rosen again. Good, di good diagonal. Just hope watches it. Just drift into the corner. Albert Storm. Just to create something 
for the Lakers. Clan win it back. And it's all the way into Swedish ice. Ilka Heikinen picks it up. Finn, he got two goals. And that 10 2 win for Vekwa against the Clan a couple of weeks ago. Play will stop again. There's the goal has shifted off its mooring slightly. As it stands, Vec will win here tonight. They will qualify for the knockout stages of the CHL. They're probably in much better shape and fashion than they did last year when they were edged out by Sparta Prague in that group last year. So cruel considering Vecco had won four of their six games, Sparta had won three of theirs. But the head to head record went against them, both teams finishing on 12 points. Sam Hallam certainly proved himself to be an excellent coach for the club since taking over from Jana Carlson in October 2012. Like Ryan Finnerty, his third full season in charge of the club. Although he has been at his club a little bit longer. Backhanded around the outside. So he tries to keep it alive. Clan intercept. Now is this a chance? Oh, not quite on that occasion. As Stefan Steen had to watch it very carefully. Face-off, Scott Pitt is in there. He's done well in face-off tonight, Scott Pitt. Of course, I say that and Vekwa just win that one. Kohlberg. Going back in. Well, they come through the zones now. Decent effort, that was hiking in at the blue line. And picked up in the Lakers zone. Just taking the time with that hiking in. Hiking one of three players to score two goals in Sweden two weeks ago. Patrick Lund and Alexander Johansson, the other one. Johansson not playing tonight. Again, Get back in. So the press it was. Fourth line out for the Lakers right now. Try and get the stick on it. It's just enough. Oh no, it's one back. Ginge was in the centre. Nathan McKeever had to hold him off. Off its mooring slightly. Oh, that's interesting. We've got a timeout call, I'm not sure by who. I think it's Vequa. I'm not entirely sure. Certainly, timeout's been called. I didn't see which of the coaches made the gesture. It is the Lakers, the Lakers have called the timeout. But that allows Infinity to get his troops in. And, uh, I think the players having a chat amongst themselves. Coming up on four minutes played in this third period. Brayhead clan trailing by three goals to one against the Vecqua Lakers. Champions Hockey League action in Glasgow. For the first time ever, let's hope it's not the last. Well, apart from the Ingolstadt game next week, beyond that, let's hope it's not the last. 
Clan can just get themselves over the line in the league. It's the month of March just went against them. Defeat to Edinburgh. And then losing to the Steelers. That would have been a crucial one. I mean, the margins were so close. And there's Vekla. Trying to put the pressure on. Pass a bit too strong, but Timu Laxo picks it up. Oh, Carly Rosen. Now the question is, will Vekwa push for the fourth goal? Are they quite happy with the two-goal advantage? I just don't know. If Klan can get a second goal, that would certainly ask the question. As Heikinen picks it up. Takes it for a bit of a travel. Oh, now it's opened up nicely for the clan. Oh! Chris Britton it was. Suddenly found a route open to goal. Just couldn't execute the finish. That's a let off. Here's Brendan Brooks. Can't quite make it past. Gilke Heikinen. Scott Pitt was in there as well. And Steen stands firm. For the Swedes, Patrick Lund makes it forward now. Lund backhanded for Robert Rosen. Doesn't come off. Fans certainly enjoyed that one. That could have been a huge goal for the Brayhead clan. On the turn. Back to Laxo. Fires it in. And it's Gustav Riedal at the near post that tried to force it in. And hold firm. In their own zone right now. Heikinen. Takes a nick off the skate and hits off the backboard. Heikinen set up by Josephson there. Pump's head swivels there as he tries to keep an eye on the puck. Just as Riedel got hold of it, the referee blew to stop play. The claimers again are being played as we take a little television break. Well, plenty of new faces for the clan this season. Rick Jackman, Thomas Nesbitt, Marcus Goetz, Brendan Brooks, Nathan McKeever, Chris Britton, Alex Levitt, Jordan Cowney and Barry McKenzie, as well as Chris Holt and Gary Russell. Richard Hartman, of course, a new face on the bench. A former Edinburgh Capitals coach has joined the club as an assistant coach after four years at Murrayfield. Got them to the playoffs once, sixth place finish couple of seasons ago didn't get past Belfast in the quarter final very likeable man Richard Hartman and he's very much enjoying his new role with the Brayhead clan of course Richard the Slovakian got through some excellent players at Edinburgh Rennie Yarolin and Thomas Heidelowski the netminder Fritsch does well. Found its way to Stefan Meyer down the left-hand side. Equa again just get themselves out of what looked like a tricky situation. Josh Hennessy and at the boards against Jamie Fritsch. And just skids away. And just move out of danger. Now 
Genge. Genge has it. Good snapshot. Excellent take from Chris Holt. Just scooped her out of midair. Terrific catch from the clan netminder. Decent effort, and you have to say, an equally excellent save as well. Face off taken, Zach Sullivan brings it away on the outside. This is a stick. Have to do a bit of work to keep it under control here, and they do so. Here's McKeever in the central position. Brooks has it down the left. Another opportunity. That goes wide. And I think we're going to see a penalty here. Nathan McKeever skates back to the penalty box. And he takes a seat. Interference, I think that was, from Nathan McKeever, 48-15. And the clan. Down to four skaters. Bequa will look to take advantage. Here's Heikinen. At the top of the face-off circle, just moves it back across. Goal tender interference is the call on Nathan McKeever. In the neutral zone, powering forward. Rosen. And it's hiking in. That shot causes a little bit of trouble. Hickenden has it again, just in front of the blue line. Excellent defensive work from Ben Davis, standing his ground. The Welsh forward. Here we come again. Once again, another effort from Ginge. And a real threat. He played very well in Sweden a couple of weeks ago as well, Richard Ginge. He has it now. A piece of play is in the face-off circle. Comes back for Heikinen and Holt. Just stops it in the right place. Liam Reddix on the toes of the clan goalie. Hoping to sweep away anything that might come loose. Holt having none of it, though. Tough period for the clan right now. Man down with Nathan McKeever in the penalty box. So, when tiredness comes in, and they're fully concentrating on what are superior opponents' concentration levels. Have to be at a premium. This is the type, time of the game when the fatigue starts to come in a little bit. We've put a lot into the game. The clan, you have to say, have done so. They have performed very well here tonight against this team. Laxel on the left-hand side for Hilding. Again, moves it on for Farakas. Laxel with the effort. Callie Rosen it was who helped it on. Jackman and Meyer just gets out of danger and McKeever is back on the ice under 10 minutes left to go in the CHL Will Vecqua book their spot in the last 32 and if they do so it looks as though it could be the end for the clan of course that depends Ingolstadt will have a big say on that this week Ingolstad play Vecqua through the week before they come to Glasgow next Saturday. 
There might be something in to play for. Or it could be academic. We'll have to wait and see. Vekwa have been the top team in this group so far. Two wins out of two. As it stands, three wins out of three. If it stays like this. Good pass. It's got Josephson. Comes wide to Riedal. McKeever. Just gets in ahead of him. took a lot of pride from the result in Germany on the 22nd of August, two weeks ago when they lost 5-2 to Ingolstadt Matt Keith and Chris Britton got the goals the performance you have to say, despite the scoreline was excellent, you could see the clan were tiring in the, the latter stages of the game and I think that's maybe starting to be the case here where they've performed valiantly and to, to play as well as they did against the DEL team it's not something you should take lightly, it's something you can take a lot of pride in. The only other Elite League team to have played in this competition was Nottingham Panthers last year. They got a victory, they got one win in their six group games, that was against the Hamburg Freezers. So it would be incredible to see Clan get something out of this group. Doesn't look like it might be tonight, though, as the Equal Lakers leading by three goals to one. Bit of a tug there. Uh, nothing given. Referee's not interested in that one. So now Vekwa continue to build up. Heikerin. Throws it in. Blocked off. Varakis has it. And just nudge it on. Oh, they are still stuck in their own zone right now. That's a good pass. Opportunity for Thomas Nesbitt. And Steen lunges low. A bit of afters there between Ben Davis and Vili Varakis. Or Varakas, rather. But quickly diffused. And we're heading into another TV break right now. Bit of a breather for both teams. But yeah, Vekwa, the champions of Sweden. They finished third in the regular season, 24 wins in 55 games, 96 points. So they were in the playoffs, overcame Orebro in the quarter-finals, then Frölunda in the semis, and then defeated Skellefteå 4-2 in the best-of-seven series to win the SHL Championship. Skellefteå were the team at the top of the regular season standings. So I think when a team can overcome the team that has been the best overall in the regular season, I think that's maybe a little bit sweeter. It certainly was a great achievement for the Lakers and for their coach, Sam Hallam. So we're back on. Lakers just nudge it forward. Laxo on the outside. And the, the interception. They're able to just bring it away at their own pace. There's Britain. Good effort from Britain. Just bounced off. Stefan Steen and the Lakers were quick to sweep up after that excellent effort from Chris Britton now Keith 
into the centre. Backhanded from Alex Levitt. Just goes wide. Again, Clan just showing they're definitely not out of this game yet. Two goals. There's the deficit between the two teams. And penalty call. It's on Matt Keith. Interference is the call against the clan captain. Mike Keith takes a seat. Hugely popular figure here at Brayhead Clan. Arriving from Austria last year. Very much a go-to guy for Ryan Finnerty. Six twenty remains of the CHL game. As Patrick Lund runs into the face-off circle with Ben Davis. Lund, one of those players that got two goals against the clan a couple of weeks ago. Stefan Meyer got clan's goals. Should point out, I've not actually mentioned that yet. Uh, what a, a stage to play at Vida Arena. An impressive place for any hockey, whether you're a player or a fan. Great setup they've got over in Sweden. Well, they will fancy this, the Lakers. Fourth goal just to tidy things up from their point of view. And in the neutral zone. It's held up. Oh now shouts for too many men. And I think. Beckwith's power play has evaporated with that. Too many men on the ice at 54-13. That would even things up. Four on four. That is the case. Referees on that one. Number 24, Joachim Hilding will take the seat. We go four on four hockey now. Clan still trailing by two goals. Three one for the Vecco Lakers here in Brayhead. Vecco win the face off. Heikinen. To his right, he's got Genj. Gensdale runs into trouble. And player Swamp. Got Jackman in there Going to try and get rid of it, get rid of the danger. Heikinen. Heikinen's impressed tonight. He's played very well for Vekwa. It's Jamie Fritch backhanded. Just sends the puck down the other end. We'll see if Brayhead have got anything left in the tank. Ask a few questions of this team. Definitely nothing like what it was in Sweden a couple of weeks ago, and I think that will please Ryan Finnerty. There's ways of losing. Many ways it was a lesson in Sweden a couple of weeks ago. As Clan made a huge step. Very much into the unknown Levitt. Oh, backhanded. And Steen has to plunge to... Stop the puck. But yeah, it was very much a step into the unknown for Brayhead Clan two weeks ago as they made their debut in the European competition. And my goodness, baptism of fire. But it helped build character for the games to come. That showed in Ingolstadt. And it's shown again here tonight. Take it that one step further here against Ingolstadt next week. Who knows? Could be a big night for the club. Brooks. That's a good pass. He's got Fritsch down the right. Hiking in there to sweep up for Vekwa. But it's gone loose. And not to be.
Fitch. On the outside. Well, it's loose for Lakers to pick up. Britain feeds it inside. And both teams back to full strength now. Under four minutes to go in the CHL tie here in Glasgow. Van Klan just pushed the door on the Swedes, forced their way back in. Vapor will take it just now as it is, a two-goal lead. Not wishing to do anything daft at this time. Meyer needs to feed in Keith, but swept away by Heikinen. This it blows again. off the Kiva to Levitt Levitt just lets it go but Hilding is there Meyer keeps it alive Levitt backhanded and we'll look to the big players to hopefully deliver something in these final minutes and hopefully force something a little bit unlikely a lot to do though Lakers just turn and sweep it away. Effort from Ginge and Holt has it covered at his near post. Down to his left. Another opportunity from Richard Ginge. off gets ready Robert Rosen and Ben Davis will meet in the middle Lund Lund comes across throws in a low one Holt reacted just in case the puck came his way What a turn. The Lakers keep it alive. Two minutes to go. Alvin Storm tries to keep it going. Up on this right hand side. And there we have it. Stop by Holt again. wonder when Ryan Finnerty is going to give the signal for Holt to return to the bench for Clan. Looks as though they may slink out of the CHL after this group. You know what? Why not? Throw everyone up there and see what happens. That's a low one. Oh! Holt again. Good stop. Echo again just looked to put the icing on the cake in this game really confirm their place in the last 32 of this competition Scott Pitt will come up against Josh Hennessy in the face-off circle Hennessy who scored the second goal for Vekwa in this game picked up the plan goal seems like ages ago now Well, Holt get the chance to come out the net. Just when Clan look as though they're making inroads, Echo win it back. Reddix. Clan on the turn, just get rid of it. Aikinen. in. 
listen to the crowd really getting the team going here in Glasgow can there be something a bit of drama something that could really turn this game Holt has gone back to the bench now So Clan's goal lies gaping. Ryan Finnerty is going for it. We're inside the final minute of this game here in Glasgow. They are trailing by two goals. One goal. Well, we'd certainly ask a question. And now the Clan have called a timeout. 44 seconds to go. Infinity brings the troops in for a quick chat. Some final instruction. Can they make the most of this? Well, Equus coach Sam Hallam does exactly the same. Try and make sure they don't lose anything. 3 1 up there in the they're in pole position here. They'll certainly not want to lose anything. Although 44 seconds, it's a tall order. I think the clan would get two goals in such a short space of time, but you know what? Stranger things have happened. The crowd certainly have been with this team all the way here tonight. They would certainly love something to cheer in the final minute of this game. They certainly would. underway again here we go in the final minute can clan pull something out of the fire get a goal on the board they've done so well here tonight Levitt heavily involved behind the net there in the neutral zone Alex Levitt to Bruton Play stops again. Well, it's not to be for the clan tonight, but you know what? My goodness, they've shown they can go toe to toe with some top teams in Europe. Becker, when you look at it, could be one of the favourites for the competition this year. The clan is certainly doing very well. Oh! So close! Scott Pitt! Nearly in there, Chris Bruton getting involved. Bit of frustration there. Bruton wasn't happy with a couple of the Vecqua players in the centre there. He was trying to make his way towards goal. And that didn't quite happen. But the sound here in the arena is absolutely incredible. Each and every member of the Purple Army on their feet. But it's all over. Greyhead plan. Go down 3-1 to Vecqua. Scott Pitt's opening goal. Quickly cancelled out by Eric Josephson. Josh Hennessy put Vecqua 2-1 up before the end of the first period. Richard Ginge with a power play goal midway through the second period. And it's enough for the Swedish champions to leave Glasgow with the points in the bag.